It's been great news. The signal has been re-established with the comet uh, and that shows that uh, Feli uh, is working. We don't quite know where Feli is yet, but the fact that there is radio contact means that all systems seem to be go. Uh, there's certainly been quite a lot of data come back from some of the instruments on board the, the Feli lander uh, and the instrument scientists are all busy poring over those and trying to find out what they mean. Uh, so it's yeah, a, lot, a lot more cheerful faces around the place this morning. Well, that, that's good to hear. Um, do we know how stable it is at the moment? No, we don't know. That's one of the things we won't know until we get some better images. And we believe that in a couple of hours' time, there are going to be some really good images being, being released. That, that's what the rumour is around here. Uh, so we do know that the ice screws did not fire on the, uh, on the legs as it landed. And these are one-shot things. You know, you can't reactuate them. And so the chances are that Feli is, is possibly never going to be anchored uh, until the drill gets going. And the drill is a scientific instrument. It's not supposed to be anchoring the, uh, the, the lander to the comet. So it's always going to be a bit of a worry. But just even getting the data so far is, is wonderful. The next concern for the instrument scientists is how long will the batteries last? And wherever Feli has ended up, is it going to have enough sunlight to charge up, to, for the solar panels to charge up the batteries? That's why it's so important to find out where Feli is.